Last year, I got to fulfill one of my initial D dreams and got to drive the A86, the Hachiroku. Today, at last, I'm gonna do what I've been wanting to do for a very long time, and that's fulfill the other half of the, the yin yang initial D equation that's to drive this bad boy, Godzilla. Well, my chicken house. And there's Richards, the man we're following, the man on the move at the moment, zeroing in behind. From actual racetracks to the small screen, to the big screen, and then back to virtual racetracks. The R32 Skylar GTR has always been King, King Godzilla. We caught up with Wade Erasmus and his flawless example of the inaugural all-wheel drive GTR. First to get his opinion on his car, and then for me to have some fun behind the wheel on some of Cape Town's hardest mountain roads. My name is Wade Erasmus. I'm from Kruifontein. I'm a technician at uh, Cape Cape Toyota. And, uh, you know, the, the whole passion about mechanics, you know, it's just, it's like, it's just that, that spice. And, uh, you know, it's difficult to explain at times, but that is the fuel and the passion to everything. Uh, the car scene, everything. The racing that I've done before, and um, when I grew up as a, as a youngster, I was living in Kruifontein with a whole spinning thing. Yeah, I used to go there, I used to sneak out, you know. My friends wouldn't know. They said, let's go to the pitch, you know. And I would go to the pitch, but then we used to watch the spinning. And through that, through the whole BMW scene, spinning out there, the smoke, the rubber, uh, the reading, the sounds of, of engines just going boss. That, that, that is like, ah. I got this car because it's the wall, the, the, just the old legendary, the old, oh, if, I must, if I can just look at it, this car, just look at it, you know, the, the long stance of it, the, the afterburner taillights, it started way back actually, but all because of the taillights and the just grew. When I found out about that these cars exist afterwards, which I thought was just a uh, most myth. And then the whole Gran Turismo thing. And then you could see, okay, now these cars are actually do exist. And uh, when I was a little boy, I was 13 at the time at high school. I was just standing outside of the gate and we were just chatting there, me and the friends. And we just saw this, I just saw this blue GTX roll pass. 17s, chrome wheels on. I said to myself, you know, I want that. I want that. GTX mad, you know, it just went like that. And one day, as I grew up, I told my father, you know what, can, I, can, I, can you actually buy me one, maybe? No. So I said, no. And then I said, all right, so let's get a job and just save up for one. I didn't have a license at the time. Then uh, let's fast forward a bit to, to 2006. 2007 came, and uh, I got my license. I just turned 19, 1920 there around, and I bought my first car, a 2.8 GTX. 10 years passed and I got this for my 30th birthday. The little the spirit that the car has, you know? It's just like my, my spirit and this car spirit is like now intertwined. It's just like the love of it. So every time I get behind it, it's like... You complete me. I love you. That's all, it's like, I just, it, it, it's hard to explain at times, but the more you drive it, the just the more it speaks to you, that connection with the car. And then if you drive it hard, it's like a different person that you now have this relationship with. You know? It can become hardcore at times. What, what is it? What does it have? And I tell them what it is, and then they say, oh, really? And I say, okay, have a look. And then they're like, like okay, you know? And then there's the weird questions that I get asked, like, the 26, is the GTR, is the twin turbo. What is it? Um, is it all wheel drive, is it three wheel drive? When I tell them the whole story behind the cars, that it's switchable and it's double charged, it's fuel injection. Yeah, just done maintenance. Purely maintenance, brake pads, 
service timing belt just basically that for now because uh, prices of certain parts are a bit high ridiculously high <laughs> so saving up for that. but there's more parts to come it's not the, it's the, it's an, it will be a never ending story I've been following this uh, guy in, in Australia about um, Andrew Hawkins from Motor DVD and DGTR is like my little inspiration and they have that suspension work I've done also that suspension work so my need is basically just twisties straight line everything track days but mostly every single day where I can get in and drive comfortability that is that that is my outlook for for, for the for the future for this car for 2018 my favorite place to drive this car since I have received it was Franchuk Pass that was for me the most best experience out of it because it has shown me what the car can really do whether it's going to be in rear wheel drive or in all wheel drive that, that's just the best the best spot when you go up it just it's got the character it's got a character and, and it's just so complex at times where it's just like I just gotta say Phew! you know it just blows your mind away the way the grip the car grips the way you can put it into boost in the bend and just keep it there and sometimes you gotta do a bit of braking but you know that he lento in your pa that just it's out of this world there was Wei giving me some advice on the air conditioning situation and we're off. It's quite intimidating driving cars like this because you know, I've been driving for a while, we all have, right? But it's just something intimidating about driving. Very rare, exotic. I don't mean like, oh, I've got godlike skills, I don't. Um, it's just an easy car to drive. You put down and you go. Swap some gears, make some noise, heel and toe. This is the heel and toe machine I've got. review in 100 words or so. The drive, it is firm but it is extremely tractable. Steering is easy, it's precise. The boost comes on gradually and then all at once. Still, you're not pogoing around. It's an easy car to drive. It's a GDI quick and easy. Thank you, Mr. Micro. I don't want to review it, I just want to drive it. <laughs> Turbo noises! <laughs> 